Hi, this is Nanette Hosenfeld with the Great Basin Smoke Dispersion Briefing for Monday, February 26, 2018. Looking at precipitation over the past few days, or past two weeks, you can see from the image on the left, which represents the past seven days, uh, the past seven days have been fairly uh, better as far as precipitation in the past two weeks. However, it, it still has been abnormally dry across the Great Basin as a whole over the past two weeks. Looking at new snow, uh, the image on the left shows snowfall over the past 72 hours. Um, it looks like winter finally decided to make an appearance this year. Uh, you can see the northern part of the Great Basin got a fair amount of snowfall over the past 72 hours, uh, with some locations in the central Idaho mountains seeing as much as two feet of snow. Snow depth has also increased across the area, and you can see that much of the northern two-thirds of the area does have snow cover at this point. Uh, just to compare to two weeks ago, the image on the left shows snow cover on February 12th. Uh, the image on the right shows snow cover today. And you can see that the uh, central part of the Great, the, the Great Basin, so portions of Nevada and Utah, have significantly more snow cover than we had two weeks ago. The satellite this morning shows a disturbance across the uh, Pacific Northwest. It is slowly making its way to the south and the east. And will bring another round of precipitation to the northern and central portions of the Great Basin. For this afternoon, again, you can see from that general weather pattern image on the left, that disturbance that is um, making its way across the Pacific Northwest into the Great Basin uh, with quite a bit of moisture in place across the north. With this disturbance, we are looking at good to excellent mixing across um, the majority of the Great Basin today. In a little more detail, you can see that the transport winds are pretty healthy uh, from the image on the left. Our mixing heights are quite good as well. As we move into Tuesday, that disturbance will dig uh, south and west, or south and east, into the area. We will see a decrease in the ventilation index across the northern part of the area, though further south it will continue to be good to excellent. Uh, that decrease in the north is due to a decrease in transport winds and mixing heights. As we move into Wednesday, we will see some ridging across the area uh, that will lead to a decrease in clearing indices across much of the western and northern portions of the area. Uh, this, again, is due to that decrease in transport winds and mixing heights. So over the next three days, you can see that general uh, trend reflected of better clearing indices across the south and lower across the north. Over the next three days, the majority of the precipitation will fall across the northern part of the Great Basin, focusing on Nevada, northern Utah, and Idaho. As we move into Thursday, another disturbance makes its way into the western United States. Uh, transport winds will increase ahead of the system, and while we do not have a ventilation index forecast image available, uh, I would expect it would be pretty good across the area with those increasing winds ahead of the system. Uh, moving into Friday, that system continues to move south and east into the area. Uh, we would expect to see good to excellent mixing across the majority of the area uh, due to increased winds with that system. As we move into Saturday, that uh, system moves overhead and starts to move off to the east. Uh, we are expecting to see precipitation during this period across mainly the northern and central portions of the area, and would expect to see good to excellent mixing again across much of the area on Saturday. Finally, as we move into Sunday, that uh, system begins to move off to the north and east of the area, and while that ventilation index uh, forecast image isn't available, it would be expected that ventilation indices would start to decrease across the south and the west as that uh, system pulls away to the northeast. Looking at the four to five day period as far as precipitation accumulation, again, looks like the southern and southeastern parts of the area will remain quite dry, uh, though it's looking better further north um, into the Great Basin as far as precipitation um, in that four to five day period. Finally, looking out into the two week range, the Climate Prediction Center is calling for below normal temperatures across the majority of the Great Basin uh, with above normal precipitation possible across the far western parts of the area and below normal below normal precipitation continuing further south and east. So that's it. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us. Our information is on the screen, and you can also find us on Twitter. Thanks.